Hey, King Bunny. Hi, Ben Webb. How's things? Hey, Spoon Smooth. How's things, buddy? Hi, Algerian Warrior. Hi, Ratty Riot. How's things, buddy? Hi, Daniel. Yeah, cheers, Ben. It's uh, it's taken some doing, like to be honest. What's the mic sound like, guys? Is it okay? Is it loud enough? Hi, Tristan. Hi, Joshua. Cheers, Ferris. Yeah, as, as Ferris has mentioned there as well, I've actually now got a, a PS4 server up and running. So we've now got one for the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One, uh, both on Ragnarok, um, quite boosted levels as well. Hey Missy, how are you? Hey King, hey TLC. Not sure how this is going to go the night, but I thought I'd uh, I'd try and build this speedboat live, and hopefully um, prove that the uh, diagonal stat points aren't that difficult. <laughs> he says. Uh, this is kind of one of me, um, me, me better builds. It's got most views uh, on my channel, uh, but a lot of people complain about the snap points being pretty difficult. So I thought, hopefully, two hours streaming should be fine. Hey, me, Billy. Yeah, I, I, I'm not too sure on a hatchery. To be honest with you, I don't even know what a hatchery is. Um, I mean, well, I know what a hatchery is in real life, but how it would kind of make it functional but uh, also look good as well. So have you built this before, Christopher, then, have you? The speedboat? Of course I can. Hi, Leo. How's things? <laughs> hey, Lucky. Uh, good name. Is yours pronounced Aaron or Aaron? Hopefully it should go smoothly tonight as well, because I've got everything in here uh, that I think I'm going to need. Um, to build the boat, so I should be well prepared tonight. Nothing should go wrong, he says. I'll just wait for a few more people to join the stream because I did say I was starting about uh, ten past eight, and then I'll crack on with the build. Hi, is it Quicker Seven P? Hi, welcome to the stream, buddy. Hi, Rebel. Uh, yeah, um, I, I do plan on doing a, a, a castle at some point, to be honest, uh, on this server as well. Yeah, TLC. Um, that's what I thought, but uh, um, we'll see how this goes tonight, because I've got a horrible feeling it's going to go terribly wrong when I try and get them diagonal snap points. Two hours stream, just me trying to put them three in place. Hi, LV. Um, yeah, it's Ferris Kings just put down there <clears throat> below how to join the server. That's two now. There's a Xbox server and a and a PlayStation 4 server, so uh, both on Ragnarok with the same stats. Hi, Gabriel. Hi, snipers. You, how's things, buddy? <clears throat> okay, we've got 66 people in the stream. I think I'll I'll probably just start now, and hopefully people will uh, they'll be able to catch up with us. hardest part now is since they've changed the snap points. You used to be able to still, um, put a pillar down and and move further out from the boat, but for some reason the f when I go out to the far point there oh, and it's worked first time, would you believe it? Would you believe it? So 
I mean, most people will know this, but uh, by putting a pillar uh, on a foundation, it gives you two snap points, you can see there. So all we're doing here is just going to lower the foundations down to as low as we can. Um, if we can get this to snap. Damn it. There we go. The joys of building them all. <laughs> Cheers, Ferris. Yeah, we shall see. Yeah, that never happens first time, to be honest. Just like this. This is what normally you'd be doing this in thatch as well, the um, the lowering, just so it's not so wasteful. But I'm doing this in metal just so you can all see, because you can see the snap points and the lower, the lower snap points a lot easier in metal. Hi, experienced gaming. Welcome to the stream, buddy. Hi, Daniel. And trust it to rain. Do I want to go any lower than that? Yeah, go on. Why not? And fat dogs joined the, the server. Yeah, he's a really good builder, Captain Fat Dog. You should check his channel out if you haven't already. That's what I was trying to do on the other side. Don't know why it snapped on that side, not the other. And all we're doing is extend the board just by using the foundation technique again. Some of you will probably already know about this. Um, if you put a if you put a ceiling on the edge of the boat, you can also put a foundation underneath, which allows you to, to kind of extend the boat a little bit more as well. So we're gonna go for. I'm gonna go one more. what we've got so far. Yeah, dodge bowler. Um, I'm actually looking forward to setting that up, to be honest with you. I think that'll be really, really good. Two teams in an arena should be, should be really good. King. So now for the easy part, I'm going to show you how you get the diagonal snap points first time. <laughs> yeah. If you believe that, you'll believe anything. 
Okay, I'll stitch a few, uh, a few bits. Right, I've got I've got sixty fence foundations. That should do it. And again, to make sure the foundations, or sorry, the walls are facing the right way, you need to make sure that the water's on your left hand side. Um, and I'll show you what I mean. Uh, it's a good a good thing to use thatched walls as well because you can kind of check as you're going to make sure that they're, they're snapping in the right the right direction. Okay. So firstly we need to make sure, you can see there's two snap points there, the outer one and the inner one. We need to make sure that's on the inside so it's not going to put the wall against this edge of the boat. So we place that there and then if we put a wall down we can see that that's the right way around. But we need to make sure that when you do put the wall down it is snapped to the foundation, so that's snapped to the the ceiling, that's snapped to the foundation. We need to make sure the snap to the foundation. Okay, and what I've found normally with these snap points is if I stand roughly the position I want to be where the diagonal snap point is, you've seen how it was there. We had it. Oh, we had it again. And then walk towards it, it normally tends to work. Oh, damn it. We had it, we had it, we had it. We had it. Come on, move. There we go. And then sometimes what you'll find is that that will be the wrong way around, but we've been quite fortunate that way. So again, double check, make sure that's the right way around. If you do place it and it's the wrong way around, just stay in the same position. Then all you do is you press the, the Y button or the triangle, I think it is on PlayStation, uh, just to, to flip the, not to flip it, just to turn it uh, the opposite way around and that should allow you to put it the right way around. This one's normally the most tricky one. On the, on the right hand side of the boat, my left. And I normally find if you stand in this corner, you find the snap point not easier. But what I tend to do is, rather than get myself really frustrated and throwing my controller through the window, um, I will move on to the opposite side as well. Because um, I've, I've found as well that once you've got both these first diagonals in, the second diagonal comes in a lot easier as well. There we go, so that's, that's the right way around. Next diagonal. Oh, first time. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Again, check if it's the right way around, which it is. Happy days. And all I'm doing here is I'm just mashing um, the snap cycle command or control, sorry. And I had a really good position there. Oh, and again, all I'm doing is just tapping up and down with a control pad until it falls into place. And there we go. So again, that's worked out quite nicely. And now for the the awkward one. Come on, come on, you can do it. <laughs> come on. Oh, 
We had it, we had it. We had it. Oh, we had it again. Right, patience. Ha! Ah. Yes. Sometimes as well, if you've if you've placed another foundation like I did there, and you place your second one, check by taking away the first one because you might find that the the, the the second one will come away. Luckily, I didn't. Sometimes when you take that first one away, this will this will demolish as well. So again, you need to make sure that everything's gone on the boat except for the. F the five um, foundations or fence foundations you need. And let's see, yeah, maths up the right way, okay. So, happy days. That didn't take too long, what was that, 16 minutes? <laughs> so yeah, it's not too bad. Um, but that's the start of the shape of the boat. That's what you're looking for, to be honest. Um, and you need to make sure that they're lined up quite nicely. Yeah, Kai, it's... It, it's a nightmare. To be fair, um, I have been practicing this, this afternoon before I've done this stream, um, and this is probably the quickest I've actually done it. You know, live. Um, what it took about 10, 15 minutes or so there. But yeah, they're, they're a nightmare. The, the snap points, to be honest. And and the the, the problem is because the boat moves up and down, um, so that you know they, they tend to jump around quite a bit. Okay. Next step. And again, this is this is pretty important, and I'll, I'll show you in a bit. You've got to make sure you can see there. There's there's two snap points here. So there's the first snap point, which is your ceiling, and your second snap point, which is your foundation. You have to make sure it's on the foundation because none of this will work when you demolish the um, some of these ceilings later on, and it'll be really costly um, with it being built in metal. So, well, and you can see there, it didn't didn't snap to the right place. So you need to be very careful to you get the, you get this right. There we go, and you'll be able to tell because there'll be quite a big gap between the wall and the wall on the board. These ones are easy because there's nowhere else for them to go other than the foundations. And I'm using thatch here because if you've watched the build, this will all be demolished um, very shortly. Okay, and then what we do from there is we go two down. But again, you notice there's two snap points. As the outer snap point and the inner snap point, we need to be hitting the inner snap point, and you can tell because you'll be able to see the the foundation sticking through your thatch structure, because um, we're building down from that wall, and we missed. There we go. That's what we want. Daniel, I think this is like my tenth boat I've done, so it does get get easier. Um, but the snap points never get never get less frustrating. To be honest with you, they're just yeah, <laughs> they they are what they are. Um, unfortunately. And again, you can see there where we've snapped this to the underneath of of the walls. And then we want to go. One more down, and that's just because we're going to put some ceilings on the top of this one. I'm just going to quickly give myself some infinite stats because I don't want to drown. Why didn't that work? Okay. Okay, we're good to go. <clears throat> okay, okay, that's exact. That yeah, story of my life with these snap points. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, 
Okay. So next we want to put some store, some metal ceilings, and what we need to do is we need to make sure that we snap a ceiling to every single one of these, um, because it needs to make a solid structure. So sometimes it'll look like it's connected and, some, and, it'll, and, and it's not, so we just make sure we count out five snap points. So the first one is pretty easy, which is that one there, that's one. Then the first diagonal, which is again easy, that's two. This one here you see it's snapping between, it's connecting between this one here and this one here. You'll see that's why it's, it's it, well, yeah, it's flipping around. So we want to fit, fit it to the, the first one, so that's one, that one there. And then we also need to put one on here as well. It looks like you're overlapping, but you can see there it's a bit further back. That's the right plane. There we go. Same with here. We need to get it to the furthest plane, which is that one there. There we go. And then we need to do a, di a diagonal here, which is that one there. And you should have something that looks like that, quite tidy. And you'll be able to tell if you've done it right or wrong because it'll not be uniform on either side. So as long as you've got something that looks similar to that, then you're pretty much good to go. And then we want to put one in the middle to connect it all up. And then what we're going to do, so that, to be fair, I mean, I, I've never really tried this on PvP, but I think you know most of the boards going to be well protected by um, by these ceilings, so it should be okay. We're now going to go back. Like so. I may have gone back too far, but we'll uh, we'll double check. There we go. Yeah, and then we do the same on the opposite side as well. And if you sink the foundations at the beginning low enough, this should cover the whole boat itself, so it should be doubly protected from underneath. If you've gone, f if you've gone far enough forward with your first foundation, you should be able to still see the the uh, propeller as well. Once we put our, our walls down. Hey Megan, um, I'll not be on the server tonight. I'm going to play um, a bit of zombies, um, but I do plan on going on the server tomorrow and building a few uh, few more bits on that. Thanks, Sarah. Well, the, the next part's the testing part, though, because uh, we need to demolish some thatched walls, and if it's not built properly, if you haven't gotten this bit connected properly, the whole thing just demolishes, and I hope that doesn't happen live on stream. There we go. So you see, as I said before, if we, if we go far enough forward... Actually, we'll stick that out. If you go far enough forward, you can actually see the rudder, sorry, the propeller. If the first foundation wasn't put far enough forward, then you would just cover that. But it's not a problem, I mean, it's, it's not a biggie, but I like to see that because it makes it look quite uh, quite cool. So again, from the from the bottom as well, it kind of looks like it's always it's meant to be there, if you know what I mean. Okay. And then all we need to do now is uh, do, 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 is put your seats, some more walls nope not them ones them ones and that one there needs to be a slope wall No, 
hot you that. Just want to be able to get on my boat. Get me on my boat. I mean, as well, if anyone's got any suggestions, uh, put them in the comments as well. If you want to see me build anything, any of my tutorials, I'm more than happy to kind of build them live on stream, um, and maybe put them as a, as a, as a maybe as a playlist, or even just schedule them so people know when I'm going to be doing it. Just get these ramps sorted so we can get on and off the boat. Hi Jonathan, yeah, um, I, I've got the Xbox One X, and to be honest with you, the difference, I mean this isn't even in um, in 4K because I'm running this through the Elgato, so it's 1080p but it's upscaled, and when you play it in 4K it just makes such a difference to be fair, I mean this, this map's so laggy normally, um, I haven't had any problems with it at all, uh, well, well spotted, It's uh, it was actually supposed to be for Christmas, um, but I managed to persuade my wife to give us it a little bit earlier. She's great with stuff like that. Oh, we've got a we've got a griffin. We've got a spect a couple of spectators. Hey Sarah. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Um, I wasn't happy with this one snapped before because sometimes you get this uh, where it's really flipping out, uh, and literally all you can do is it's it's let's look, and that's not what I wanted. I'm trying to get this in the middle. I don't think this is going to happen. What we can do is go further up in a bit. Okay. So, this is the bit where you have to hope and pray that you've connected everything up. So everything's all connected. So this is now, it's all one structure. And they're all connected to these walls here. So what we need to do before we demolish this is we need to get rid of these three bits that are sticking out to make it look like a board so we need to get rid of that one there we need to get rid of this one here and we need to get rid of this one here so got something that looks a little bit like a board now um, and nothing poking round the front, which is nice. Experience gaming, yeah, I, I mean, I could probably come up with a battleship. The problem is you couldn't build it on official. I mean, this one here, you can build on official. I think it's about four less than the actual limit. And I know that some people have actually put more more guns on, because I, I do put three turrets, but you can also put turrets underneath as well. Um, but yeah, I could build one, but it wouldn't be um, buildable on official, unfortunately. I 
I'm actually playing on uh, Xbox One LV. So, so yeah. I mean, to be fair, you can play with a control pad uh, on Windows 10 as well with the, with with the Bluetooth. Okay. So now all we need to do is make sure that we now snap ceilings to each one of these each one of these thatched walls again this is the most important part to keep the structure so one there one there one there and one there and again that gives you quite a nice little shape to your to your build I'm not happy with that Okay, moment of truth. Bum bum bum. Hey JJ, how are you? Okay, moment of truth. Uh, I don't want to do it. Right, okay. I'm going to change these to metal now. Don't need that. Where did that go? Not where it should. Why are you not going where you should? Are you doing that? Yeah, Mark's so frustrating. That is that snap where it should be snapped, and for some reason, it just doesn't want to go. I would try that. There we go. And hopefully, when we demolish these thatched walls the whole thing doesn't fall apart because that does tend to happen sometimes and so was in the last one hallelujah okay show just quickly zoom out there that is the start of the boat Hey Omega, how's things? And I'm drowning again for some reason. Can you build a house on a wall on a cliff? Hey Mario, yeah, of course I can. Um, I'm going to wait until them new cliff platforms come out with the new um, DLC and see how see how they work. Play about with them, but yeah. So there we go. So that's kind of what we've got underneath as well. So it should be safe um, from attacks, and it looks quite nice as well underneath. Hi Tom. Yeah, I seen that suggested on the. Um, on the bridge, it's a good idea. Um, I'll start doing that. Um, I'm not necessarily going to build it every time, though, just because um, I have got a few kind of pending designs. But yeah, I'll I'll certainly open up to a pool. I do pools on my Patreon as well. Um, okay. Oh, 
show railings. Okay. I mean, all we're going to do now is just extend out the foundations by uh, by two. Oh, same on this side. I don't know what it is, I think I've got a bit of OCD. I like to do things one side then the other, rather than kind of going around the whole build. And then we just connect our railings, metal railings to them. Again, there'll be two snap points. There'll be the outer snap point, which is that, that come on, which is that one there. Well, you've seen it. Uh, but we need to, we, we snap these to the um, the foundations. Sorry about the glare. Just building the board up now, so hopefully this should take, start taking shape pretty quickly. Just need to get myself some metal doors or door frames, sorry. Uh, one there, so we can get in. Oh, come on! You can do it. You can do it. One there. Um, one there. And just see him on the other side. Hey Gamer Scouts, how are you? Hey, t t <laughs> Team Fat Face, gear, p gear person. Yeah, quality name. How are you, buddy? Welcome to the stream. Hey, Brody. Welcome to the stream, my man. Come on, man. Stupid. Oi! <laughs> Someone's coming down my speedboard. Who's that? <laughs> Who's that? But it might be you. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Welcome, Lil. How are you? <laughs> Didn't sit right, did it? Okay. Basically, what's happened here is 
these diagonals, these uh, triangles, um, on sitting in the right place. So if that ever happens, unfortunately, you have to. Gotta do it again. That's a quick snap point. There we go. Hey, beast gamer, beast, welcome to the stream, bud. That's the one. Okay, we're getting somewhere now. Nailed it. Yes. Yes. Oh, you come on, man. Hi Ninja Assassin. Yeah, you should come onto the server. It's, it's good. We've got 24, 25 people on here now. Um, really good bunch of people. Um, dead friendly. Willing to help everyone as well. It's it's uh, it's quite a nice server to be on, to be honest. I do enjoy it. We have lots of good events as well, like races. and We're going to start doing um, some bowler events and dino fighting and things like that as well. making some slight adjustments because a lot of these are snapped the opposite way around. Perfect. Yeah, we need to sort this one out as well. What I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to build it down rather than up. I think this one's the same. So all I'm doing here basically, it, it looks like I'm, well I am being very wasteful, but I'm just making sure that everything lines up. Just so the overall boat itself looks, uh, looks nice. Yeah, Ninja, no, no chance of that on this server. Like I say, it's. Um, I mean, we had we had one or two on there who, yeah, weren't particularly great. Bit of a nightmare, but um, give them the money back, and uh, yeah, they're no longer on the server. done there is I've just built down to get my snap point. Wait, did that did that snap? Where did that go? That's the one I want. Come 
Come on. Yes, we got it, we got it, we got it. We got it. Perfect straight perfectly straight. That's how we like it. Hey gamer. Uh, no, well there's quite a few different tribes to be honest with you, and as I said, a lot of people are friendly, so there's a lot of people who will let you in their tribe, to be honest with you. Um There's about six tribes now in in total. There we go, perfect. Took a while, but we got there. Took a while. There we go. Just gave us a bit of a, a pan out so you can see it. Yeah, there's a few, yeah, right first there is a few solo players as well. Hey, you're too cool for me. Well actually, um we have been well I have been thinking about some ideas for people who who can't kind of afford or, or don't want to pledge through Patreon is I'm thinking about streaming it live as well. That maybe at a certain time get ten people um to join, give everyone the server name, the password get them on the server and once they're in the server then all the patrons, there'll be ten of us hunting you guys and if one or two of you survive, or the two that survive um, then I'll give you access to the server so it's almost like a, a survival hunt um, and if you do survive you can get access to the server maybe it's something like that yeah the event for us, I think that'll be quite good, obviously you'll have nothing maybe just give you a, 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 an arrow or a crossbow um, and some food and set you on your way and then we'll be hunting you down with uh, full riot gear dragons, T-Rexes, the lot um, but I think that'll be quite fun it'll be good good to stream and I think it'll give someone a reward um, at the end of the day yeah, it'll be good that, good Megan so it'll be almost like a Hunger Games type map type setup where we're where we're chasing you guys Uh, it's PVE, uh, Adriano. Um, I, I'm thinking about possibly doing some PVP events, you know, timed. Um, you know, maybe it's once a week, and if people want to don't want to be in it, they can kind of put a white flag in their base so they don't get uh, raided. Problem is, I've never really played PVP, so you know, for setting it up and stuff, I, I wouldn't really know what would be good stats. Etc. You know, um, and the thing is with PvP, when you build something nice, it just gets ruined. <laughs> I've done this. I do this every time. Don't flip the. Uh, Hey Nuts Gamer. Yeah, I am. The plan is I'm going to build a big port either behind them rocks there or here. Well, just so you can kind of bring your boats in and uh, in trade. Because uh, we just started putting in game currency into the server now as well. So that there's the, the bit I was building the other day. That's the bank. So it's all done now. Uh, this, I'll, I'll give you a bit of a tour of that as well before I, before I log off. And that, my friends, we're almost done. So even with me talking and messing things up, it hasn't really took that long. I'll leave that for now, I'll show you how to do the um, 
the generator and where to hide your... Tell you what, I'll take this away so you can see it. When I do the generator and set the guns up. get cucumber at some point. My tribe's actually called cucumber because I get encumbered that often that you know everyone kinda laughs at us now because I can't run very fast at all in the game. Because I'm always just full of rocks and stones and everything else. Oh, damn it. quickly add these as well. This this bit can be a bit tricky as well. Um, we might get lucky. The first one snaps very easily. The second one tends to flip between the two. Like that. And unfortunately there's nothing you can do about that. It's just the mechanics of... Oh, there we go. Sorry, people of the server. We need it to be light. Okay. You would normally use a ladder for these this this next part, kind of get yourself straightened up. But uh, given the fact uh, that I'm on the stream, I'm just going to do this quickly. I'm back. Okay, so again, that's just that's just like a little. Normally, you can get this a bit closer to this uh, diamond, um, but again, for for the interest of the stream, I'm just kind of sped that bit up. But you can see there, it's it yeah, you know, kind of resembles the speedboat. Yeah, okay, what's Lewis? What's Lewis saying, Ferris? If, um, if you're sending dodgy messages, just just kick. Keep it clean, buddy. Okay, so I'll show you how to do the generator now. To spawn one in. What won't let you pay Brody? Okay. 
Should I do it properly? Yeah, I will. Okay. Build some ladders. I'll get some ladders. Ditch some weed. You should join, sir. It's uh, as I said, the server's great. Do you, do you play Xbox or is it PlayStation 4? Good thing is I've got both now, which, uh, which is quite nice. Okay, so little uh, ladder te technique that that will straighten you up. Then select your generator. Okay, and then I don't know if you can see, but you can see glitching through the wall. If I bring this back a little bit, what we should find, <laughs> he says, is that it shouldn't be sticking out the back. But if it is, not a big deal. It actually looks quite, like a quite, quite a nice little feature, especially if you turn the generator around. You get the glow, like a circle of glow, sticking out there, a bit like the the Batmobile, it looks uh, looks quite good actually, especially on a night time, if you've got lights on the board as well. Hey Brody, yeah, Patreon's a website, um, so if you, if you go to patreon.com um, and then just search for my name, it allows you to kind of get access to the service. It's a, there is a pledge, so it's a, it's a bit like a donation, helps support me, um, but it also gets you access to the server as well, which is which is quite nice. I, I think there might be an app, but the, web, the website tends to be quite good, or it used to be quite good. I've never had anyone any problems saying that they couldn't um they couldn't pledge at all. Okay. So for the right, tell you what, we'll put the we'll put the guns on now as well so you can see what I'm what we're actually doing. Uh, again, what I would do is I would normally put a ladder here to stand on, which would keep me straight, and then just use my left thumbstick. Um, to line these up, but again, for the interest of the stream, I'm going to do this by eye. Uh, I'll just use that that back line as a. There we go. Typical. There's not a back line on this one. <laughs> Okie dokie. Von on the front. Sorry about the glare, guys. Apologies. There we go. Okay, so to power the... What I normally do is I power these two up first because if you put the second one on, sorry the third one on, they all connect together and it doesn't look very nice with the cables so hopefully if you do it this way the cables should be should be hidden as well quite quite nicely so we go for a intersection and then we put both of our uh, like that you see nightmare Damn it. What you should have done is ignore what I've just said. I hate cables. Is Why are you doing that, man? Why are you doing that? Oh, what have I just demolished? What have I just demolished? That didn't sound good. 
Why is that still connected? Why does Ark hate us so much? Why does Ark hate me so much? This is why I do tutorials um, and edit them out so it makes life a lot easier rather than doing it this way. Why is that connected to nothing? They need to bring out Structures Plus as quick as they can, to be honest with you, because again, you can hide just the cables, so you can have them everywhere. Okay. So, scrap what I've just said, build this out, like so, and then put your first turret on. We can hit that bit later, I'm sure. You're connected to that. Now. Might actually get away with just one of these, to be honest with you. Hey Nuts Gamer Cam, I did notice you. Has it worked? Has it worked? There we go. Oh, come on, just snap where, you, where I want you to snap, please. Yeah, building on boats is not a very good idea. There we go. So what you can also again access to the generator. You can put some doors on here too. And what you can do to hide this, you can make yourself like a little center console. Which I think looks quite cool. If you can get it to snap. Hey, perfect. Uh, and what I've done in the past as well is I've put like um, I haven't gone for the diagonal. I've gone for a straight one, and I've put the um, the keypad on there, so you can arm and disarm your your turrets. Okay, why is that not working? There we go, people. Un speedboat. If you wanted to go nuts, you could put another turret on the top. 
Um, I've put turrets underneath before as well. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much it. And again, as I said, one of my favourite parts about it is the fact that you know you've still got the rudder and the propeller and everything underneath there. It looks looks quite nice. Uh, do you want us to paint it? So in all, in total, well that took us an hour, um, but normally it's a lot quicker than that. Um, had a few mishaps on the way, but you know it shouldn't take you more than an hour to, to build. Um, again, you can either watch the tutorial or watch this one. Um, I'd probably recommend watching the tutorial rather than this because uh, I did go back and forth quite a bit. Paint it blue, should I, PP? I think I've got paint. Did I have? Did I have paint in my? Uh... I do like the board black around the base, uh, and I always kind of set off with a different colour, so I'll go for black and blue. Go for black and blue. Okay. Black. What's. Uh, we'll go for royal blue. Okay. I always miss bits whenever I'm painting. I don't know why I always go for black, I just think the, the, the base looks much, so much better in black. Against the. It's a, I'm, I'm gutted as well because I would want it. These here, I kind of left them as a feature on purpose because you can snap it on the outside afterwards. Uh, and the plan was initially was to make them uh, blue or whatever colour. Kind of yeah, the other part was. But it wasn't to be.
Okay, just a couple more finishing touches. Oh, come on. And what you can also do as well, I think this is five. You can put more. Oh, yeah, that's right. Wrong colour, though. It's not five. Why is it five? Might be six. Ah, what could be four? <laughs> Is it four? Is it four? Yeah, so you can all you can also kinda bring up the detail as well in the build if you so wish. Like that. So you can see them just just doing them little bits so it looks like um like bolts and rivets and stuff. Just go back to black. What am I doing? Who am I whistling? That will do. That will do. Anyway. Hello, Lil. You little boar thief. That is it. You can paint the doors black as well if you wanted to. And the back would normally be blue or black, whichever it takes your fancy. There you go. I think it doesn't matter what colour you do it, to be fair, if you, if you contrast, you know, two different colours, um, you know, on the back, yeah, they should have been black there as well. Uh, missed that. But yeah, two contrasting colours no, normally look pretty good. Looks quite actually the blue looks quite good to be honest. Um, but yeah, that's that's the speedboat. All done. I mean what does everyone think? Do you think I should um, continue doing you know the, the builds? Uh, how I've done them? Uh, or do you want to try just doing something different, streaming, you know, setting up the server? I just thought it'd be something a little bit different to show you, you know, one of the harder builds that you know most people tend to complain about. Um, you know how how it's actually done in real life, minus all the editing. Hi, Momos. Yeah, it's on. It's on Xbox One. I've also got a PS4 server as well, but yeah, it's uh, come on, get off the board. Cheers, Ferris. I'm actually thinking about giving these away as as, uh, as kind of prizes for some of the events, possibly. I have you, Sarah. Is, on, on Xbox or PS4? I'll send. I'll uh, I'll message you back with the server details uh, if you want to play on tonight. There we go. Yeah, I'd love to see a whole fleet of them kind of, you know, 
hunting people down and stuff. I haven't like battle. Maybe do a, a a game where people are in the boats and have like a battle on the boats or something like that as well. Maybe it's for one of the games. I'll quickly sh I'll quickly show you the um, the bank as well because I don't think I actually finished it on stream. To be fair, I didn't do much of it on stream. To be honest with you, um, I took most of it down because I I messed up. But yeah, that that is going to be um, the uh, like the forging area again. I've it's just, it's just one of my old videos that I've done. I thought I'll, I was going to stream that live, but then I almost finished it. <laughs> If you can, if you can join um, Patreon as well, Sarah, it should give you an auto link when you join. Sorry, join Discord. It should give you an auto link when you when you join the Patreon account, um, and then it'll add you to the kind of the the roster, whichever server you're on. Cheers, gamer guy. Appreciate that, buddy. Hello, little fella. Right, I'll quickly show you the bank. It does light up quite nice on nighttime. All the columns light up now as well, so it, should, it, it does look quite good. Um, so yeah, so when you first walk in, it's we've got two security guards on there, uh, Arnold and Schwarzenegger. Um, Lil named them, so they're they're looking after the money. Um, yeah, Bank of Ark. So when you first walk in, you've got your little cashier desk. Again, these have all oh, these were full, but they've or disturbed the other night. Um, then you've got your you've got your vault. So the idea behind this was it was um, it was actually Malm, I think it was, who's one of our one of the patrons on the server, asked to have some form of in-game in currency. So what I've done now is I've basically um, each tier you've got on the Patreon, you get kind of in-game currency, so allowing people to trade for, you know, for for goods, for dinos, for items, and stuff. And the idea is every month um, you'll you'll come to the vault, um, you'll all have kind of you know there's loans, you'll all have your own vaults which we can colour code for you accordingly. And when you go into the vault, you'll have your money deposited every month. So you can see it's quite a full server at the moment. So all of these with names on. On the lower level, all people on the server. We've also got, you know, these are all full as well. So there's 20 here, and there's a third level, which I haven't put the vaults in yet. So put vaults in there as well. And I'm hoping that no one else joins because I'm gonna have to build a bigger bank. I'm just joking. Um, but yeah, the idea is your, your currency. So when you come in, you'll have your currency there so you know, we've got 30 and you'll be able to trade them for dinosaurs for for loot um, for building for surf you know you might want someone to build you something um, that type of thing hey there's we have a fat there's fat dog <laughs> hello buddy <laughs> hey this is a family friendly show <laughs> put some clothes on <laughs> Um, yeah, so yeah, I think I'm gonna call it call it a night. Um, yeah, just leave, leave leave your comments in in the comment section. I mean, are you, do you want to see more um, of me kind of live streaming some of my, my tutorials, or do you want us to start building some new things? Because initially, I was gonna do um, streams of me like kind of figuring out and working out how to do the builds, um, but then I thought. You're not going to see much, to be fair, because you know even that bridge I've just done, my latest tutorial, it took us about a week and a half to design, and I built it and just demolished it about 30, 40 times. So I don't know if that'll make for good watching, to be honest with you. <laughs> Hi, Mamos. Uh, Momos, you, you join just uh, look above where Ferris Kings put the links. Just join, join Patreon. Uh, you'll get the server details, you get the password and everything, and you can just just pop one. I appreciate that, gamer guy. Yeah, I mean, my my plan was to make Ark look like a, you know, worlds and Ark look a bit nicer than just thatched boxes, because there's so many servers just full of them, and hopefully, you know, this server, uh, it's kind of it's a creative creative server as well. So there's guys like Captain Fat Dog that you've seen just uh, just pop in there. Um, before you know, he's he's a really good um, 
content builder. He's got a really good channel, so I would definitely check him out if you if you get the chance. Um, but yeah, he's building some fantastic things on here as well, and we're also going to do some uh, hopefully some uh, so some joint work together. Maybe do some build offs on stream. I think that'll be quite fun and get you guys to vote for you know, which one you think's better. I'll do some collaborative work as well, where we you know build a big I don't know battle arena or or something along them lines. Have you joined the Discord, have you, Konza? Good man. Thanks, experienced gamer. Yeah, to be honest with you, I'm, I'm going to try and do a tutorial on the bank um, because you could almost use that for, like, a, I don't know, a meeting house or a or a bank, you know, a big hall, you know, just by knocking a few walls out and, and making it longer as well, you know. Um, so I'll, I'll probably be doing a tutorial on that if I can, once I can figure out how to build it on official. Um, what you'll probably find is you'll lose the steps on the way up and they'll become ramps because I did have to sink them into the into the ground uh, and and go through the floor a few times to, to get them. But the rest of it, I think, um, should be pretty straightforward, to be honest with you. So I think what I'll do is I'll probably call it a night now, end it there. Uh, just want to thank everyone for watching. Uh, thanks to all the new patrons uh, and all the support and all the all the new pledges. And I will send you all your login details for the server. Um, and as always, just just thanks very much. And I do appreciate all the support you've given us. Um, if you've got any suggestions for for new streams, just put them in the comments on this stream. Um, it should be uploaded um, in about an hour or so. And uh, hopefully I'll catch us in the in the next video. Bye everyone.